Hey everyone. In this video, I want to talk about how self-love makes dating a better experience. So I've put together a list of qualities that self-love will help you with that will inevitably make the dating experience a bit more smooth and more enjoyable. So the first thing at the top of the list is that self-love will help reduce your neediness. That alone will make your dating experience way better than before. You see, when you get down to it, neediness is basically the number one killer of relationships. It destroys them because it creates unhealthy patterns of behavior and it just can lead to people pushing away their partners without even realizing it because they act in a way from their neediness that scares the other person away. So it's in your best interest to practice self-love for that alone, just reducing your neediness. And it does that by basically working on your insecurities at the core. And while self-love may not be able to completely eradicate your insecurities, it will be able to greatly reduce them to the point where they may still be there underlying somewhere beneath the surface, but they won't be at the top anymore where they literally can sabotage your relationships. Instead, they'll just be kind of like an afterthought. And this is huge because so many people out there have just huge insecurities because they never work on them. So how the hell are they supposed to reduce them if they just aren't even aware of them? They, they just continue on with their life like everything is fine and good and they wonder why they have one failed relationship after the next and they never have any self-awareness to think, hey, maybe there's some issues with me that I should work on. <laughs> but when you practice self-love, you'll inevitably work on these things. One of the biggest insecurities that can help you almost completely eradicate is the fear of being alone. That's a huge one. So many people have that fear. But when you practice self-love, it helps you grow to enjoy your own company, which is huge. That means that when you're single, you're not going to be devastated. You're not going to be lonely because you're going to enjoy your own company. How can you ever be lonely if you actually like the company of the person you're with when you're alone? yourself, your own company. If you enjoy it, then you have like a cheat code in life because now no matter where you go, you're with someone you love and enjoy the company of. And that is huge. So it's in your best interest to practice self-love for that alone. And by the way, for those of you who don't know what I mean when I say practice self-love, I've already made a few videos on this topic. So just search self-love on my YouTube channel and you should find them. I'm not going to delve into how to practice in this video because it would make it way too long. But it also helps with the insecurities of, for instance, being insecure about your worth because you don't know what you bring to the table or being insecure about your appearance. It just helps with so many things that a lot of us have lying underneath the surface. And if we never stop and work on those things, then they can get in the way of our dating experience. They can make it horrible. They could make us have just all this neediness that scares away high quality partners. And your goal should be to be able to attract and keep high quality people around you because they're the best for relationships and friendships. In some cases, you can maybe say that if you're just looking for fun, you can tolerate lower quality people but I would even say you should be careful playing that game because low, lower quality people tend to, since they haven't worked on themselves, they tend to have a lot of chaos within them. They can just be rather unpredictable and you don't know what the hell they could end up doing. And even just fooling around with them one time could have long lasting consequences. So just be careful out there. I would say for the most part, your goal should be to date and attract higher quality people or at least people who are working on themselves who are on the journey to becoming high quality because they're the best for just everything in general and they're they're not going to try to sabotage your life like lower quality people might do so it's just a word of advice to all of you so working on uh, practicing self-love will, will help you attract higher quality people because it will help you with your neediness and your insecurities but it'll also help you with the next thing on my list which is knowing your worth. That is huge because when you know your worth, it's kind of like the gateway to being able to attract higher quality people because you'll know what you bring to the table. You'll know what sets you apart from the crowd. You'll know what makes you higher quality. And a lot of people don't really know their worth because they don't know themselves. 
You see, the more you practice self-love, the more you start to know yourself. And the more you know yourself, you'll inevitably know what you bring to the table. And with that, you'll have an idea of your self-worth. So that's why it's so important to practice self-love yet again, because the more you know your worth, the less you'll tolerate people who aren't on an equal playing field with you. People who don't bring as much to the table as you bring. It's kind of a qualifier for the people you would want to date. And it just lets you know what you can tolerate because you'll have an idea of what you bring to the table. But I feel like I'm kind of repeating myself here, so I'll go on to just talking about the next thing, which is just you won't unhealthily attach to other people the more that you practice self-love. This is basically what it helps you do at the end of the day. It helps you avoid delving into toxic attachments and toxic behavior and just unhealthy dating habits because you're going to be working on yourself, on improving your own opinion of yourself, on working to love and accept yourself as you are. And with that, you're going to avoid people who are a bit toxic themselves or who have unhealthy habits or routines. It'll basically make you not tolerate mistreatment anymore because so many people tolerate it and it's really unfortunate, but it's because they don't work on themselves. If you never work on yourself, if you don't have self-awareness, then you're going to think that it's okay for people to mistreat you because you're not going to think that you're worthy of being treated well. So it's important to practice self-love so that you rise above that. And that way, when you know your worth and you work on your neediness and insecurities, when people mistreat you, you're going to say, okay, bye-bye, I don't have time for that. I'm going to go find people over here who are going to respect me and be kind to me and care about my feelings and everything else. People who will treat me well, and that's what you'll do. So it's just incredibly important to practice self-love. And we've got one final bonus thing for you here, which is just self-love makes you more attractive. And <laughs> that, that's like the icing on the cake. And it makes you more attractive for all the aforementioned reasons. When you combine all those things, reducing your neediness, reducing your insecurities, knowing your worth, not tolerating mistreatment, it makes you more attractive, especially the learning to enjoy your own company because that makes you magnetic. I mean, people who enjoy their own company are very charismatic because they're able to have fun in their own company by themselves, which means they'll probably care a bit less what people think about them while still being kind to others. But since they don't care as much about the judgments of others, they'll probably be a bit more fun than people who care way too much what others think of them and who don't enjoy their own company. I mean, there have been times where I go grocery shopping by myself and I almost start making myself laugh while I'm in the aisles because I'll see something and I'll immediately think of a joke in my head and it'll be funny to me. Like, it'll make me laugh in a grocery store. It helps you be self-amused. When you enjoy your own company, it just makes you more fun to be around because you're able to have fun by yourself. So naturally you'll be able to have fun with others because you'll be able to vibe off of their energy instead of just purely your own. So that right there will make you way more attractive to people. So I mean, yet again, I've probably already said this like 10 times in this video, but it's important that you practice self-love. It will make you way more attractive to others. And it's just one of those things that's, it's kind of like a, a requirement for having great relationships. It's why so many people have bad relationships because they don't practice self-love. They don't love and accept themselves at their core. So they naturally tolerate mistreatment and they don't know what their worth is. So they don't know what they should try to, or what uh, partners they should tolerate, that sort of thing. So people just end up in really lame and bad situations and they don't believe they, they're worth more than that, that they deserve better. So practice self-love. <laughs> Go out there and create healthy and amazing relationships for yourself. And even if it doesn't immediately lead to you creating better relationships, at least I know for sure it will make the dating experience way better for you because it's done so for me. It'll make it so if people have red flags or they mistreat you or there's just bad qualities about them that you can't quite tolerate, you'll just, you'll be comfortable saying, okay, bye, on to the next one. And that's what you'll do. And it'll also make it so that you'll be able to better spot 
the higher quality people out there as well so that when you find them you'll know holy crap this person is different so i'm gonna make sure that i can keep them around as long as possible and hopefully create something beautiful with them and that's what you'll do so anyway check out those videos on self-love and practice the hell out of it and just make your life better and make your dating experience a lot more enjoyable going forward i'm gonna end the video here before i start repeating myself because i feel like i've already done that a ton in this video so i hope you enjoyed this video and if so the easiest way you can support me is just to like comment and share let me know your thoughts and i will see you guys in the next video arrivederci